Okay, everyone. We all know why we're here. So let's get settled in. Let's get comfortable. This could take some time. Who here is opposed to taking a quick vote to see where we all stay? Oh, I'm not wrong. No, no, no. That's fine. Well, I hope we all feel the same. He's an asshole, she's a dumbass. Okay, too much to be confused about. We shouldn't be here too long. Our job is to determine whether they should divorce or stay married. Not to form personal opinions that do not have anything to do with the facts of this case. Well, that's all that juries are. A bunch of people forming personal opinions based on facts. He's a freeloader. Fact. She got played. Fact. Both are personal opinions. Those are truths heard right from the witness stand. You know, ever since they made this new law where people parade their dirty laundry in front of their so-called peers, people have been forming personal opinions. You think I want to be sitting here judging whether two people should stay married or not? No. But it's the law. So I'm going to get my personal opinion based on the facts I heard. Well, young lady, I don't see why you got to bite your head off the messenger. Just think the boy like the man is sick. See, it might not be much to discuss if we all agree. It better not be much to discuss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take this initial vote and then continue discussion if necessary. All right. Don't let it necessary occur. All right. There you go. There you go. Even if both parties don't 
still the same? Well, okay, you can't always go on how both parties feel. Okay, so like example, for instance, like, all right, after I'm done banging it out with the chick, like, you know, a good hard fucking. Oh! Sorry, look at it. Well, okay, listen, I feel like she should just leave, you know? Like, like, what is it that you said? The, uh, the relationship has met its natural end? But, you know, I find that uh, both parties don't always feel that way. Then, I'm stuck laying around cuddling or some shit. Is that fair? Yeah, I mean, if it ain't working, it ain't working, okay? Marriage is a contract. Yeah. And if both people ain't fulfilling it, it's a breach. That then becomes love and void. It ain't got to be that hard, so. Well, according to the evidence, she was known to only be a master than her husband. She didn't go to work with her parents. She didn't even want kids. I mean, seriously. That's all on this purpose that she doesn't have kids. Uh, uh, Are you serious? There are plenty of women who don't want to have kids. Girl, wake up! <laughs> women are so much more than pots and pans and recipes. We have evolved from that, sis. That may be, but I'm just saying that's not the bill of goods she sold to him. Okay, you find that happens all the time. Okay, so when was the last time you were on Instagram? Catfish women been catfishing men for as long as we've been men, and we're just the suckers that keep falling for it. Okay, I will admit, I will admit, he may have been a bit of a leech, but she was definitely a liar. About what? About everything. Like chicks and... Sorry, women often like to do. You say whatever you think a guy wants to hear just to get him, and then after you got him, kaboom! It's like it's a whole new game, a game that he, by the way, ain't signed up for. Well, yeah, he testified that when they first got together, she stated she wanted nothing more than to take care of him and have a house full of kids. That means she wasn't very honest. And then also later, she testified that she didn't want kids at all. So that says to me that she said whatever she had to say and get him to marry her. That is grounds for divorce. But what did you say? Breach of contract? Because she changed her mind? No, because she knew that's what he wanted. If you lied about what they do, now see in my time with the new day face. It was in the home. In the home. Take care of the kids and such. Oh no, I found it. I got it right here. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, man, you that got <laughs> to provide? Did you testify that this man ain't worked six years? Six years? Six years. That ain't no man I ever heard of. That's a leech. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, Pop. Okay, those days are gone. Isn't there lots of men who are house hunters now? And they love it, man. <laughs> House what? <laughs> house husband. Yeah, they stay home and they wife will have to work. Oh, yeah, we are changing the <laughs> world, man. <laughs> and hopefully someday there won't be any at all. The awful one cannot wait oh. to experience a world minus the expectation of gender roles. Yeah. <laughs> A, a, a non binary world full of people just loving God and woman who love that. No, no, that ain't no world I want to live in. <laughs> Women's come from a rib. They're supposed to be me. I'm the provider, period. Household. I don't even know what it is. Nine, 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 Yeah, 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 wait, 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 wait,
lay out his clothes for him the night before. Oh my god. Were you going to wait? We have passed because I know we weren't all raised right. But no. I mean, be his partner. See, a man does eat a woman that rolled him up sometimes. <laughs> now, his friends did say it, but she didn't even try to be supportive. I was married to my wife for more than 40 years. Just cut that on up. Yeah, 40 years. 40. Now, that's a long time. Now, I don't know about that. See, that is 40 plus 20. That's a 10 plus 10 plus 10. Oh, I had another 10. See, that was back in the day. Back in that good day, I had that good day. Stop moving this shit. We got that. We got that. Let's move it forward. Come on. Let's move it forward, Pops. Oh. The, 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 yeah. We're going to go forward. See, she always. <laughs> How to take care of the home, the kids, <laughs> and me too. <laughs> that is, that is a real woman. Hell <laughs> yeah, real woman. <laughs> I miss her. <laughs> Women today are selfish. Oh, they get mad at Oh, they get mad at Happy about it. Or keeping up with the young disease. If they don't forgot how to be a good wife. Or they never even bothered to learn. It's a shame, I tell you, they don't want to get out this chair. Who wants a wife anyway? That's what. We got plenty of good looking dames out there that don't need a man. And look, you don't even gotta take them to dinner to get laid anymore. They make it easy for ya. We live in a Netflix and chill society, and I don't want. I'm completely here for it. God bless women's live or what the fuck ever it's called. <laughs> it is, you know, the world would be a lot better of a place without all these princesses thinking that I gotta be some kind of knight here to save them from what? Themselves? Marriage is a trap. And this guy, let me tell you for a minute, this guy ought to be glad he's got the chance to be free. All right, all right. Now, you all have a lot of opinions, and that's good. But check this out. We all need to be respectful and stick to the facts. Now, you have voiced your opinion on what you think about every woman's. Yeah. Every woman's. Every woman's. But you haven't said why you think they should divorce. Well, I thought that was obvious. Okay, well, then like me. Okay, well. The man didn't work. <laughs> he laid around sponging off her. She was left to do everything by herself. No wonder she didn't have time for the cooking and the cleaning that these two so longingly talk about. You know, we as women are expected to be everything to everybody. And we get so caught up in that that we have nothing left for ourselves. See what I mean? Selfish. <laughs> and when does selfishness and self-care become the same? When it don't include your husband. Now my definition of love has always been you before me. Hey, that's what makes a man last. <laughs> now if you hear this, hey, say bitch gets you by yourself. Hey, at least in my mood. <laughs> you know what you can do with your love? <laughs> Just think that they gave 
Now, marriage is between two people. And I think we're forgetting that here. Both people participating in a partnership. Doesn't that account for a lot of what we're talking about today? Come on, y'all. For better or for worse. I just think that when the hard parts came, <coughs> both of them threw in the towel without being a real helpmate to one another. Exactly. I like to find myself on the complete partner to my husband every way. How he knows all the work of me as a good wife to him. I try to show him every day. I cook. I clean. I make love when he wants and I keep my body well maintained for <laughs> I know how to submit. Is that what being a good little wife means to you? Yes! I am the woman that all men want. But or, or should. Being a good wife means really loving him unconditionally. Not questioning his decisions, but letting him be the king of his castle. Really trying to be the kind of wife that listens and supports. How? Is that being a partner? Partner means equal parts, honey. And we all have our part to play. I am his partner by supporting him in his decisions. I trust that his choices are the right ones for our family. She never trusted him to make decisions for their family. His mother testified that she handled all the money and, did you hear this? Gave him an allowance. So I could never, I would never do something like that to Howie. That says I don't trust you, and no man wants a woman like that. Yeah, <laughs> ain't no broad giving me an allowance. I mean, where was his boss allowing something like that? I mean, absolutely freaking dickless. I mean, where does it end? An allowance? I stopped getting that when I was a boy. Yes, I, I feel you. It really shouldn't be handing money anyway. That's a man. A, a man what? doesn't let anybody in his pockets like that. No. What? I'm being pumped, right? <laughs> <laughs> For the cameras, that's not all about you. There's all that talk in the courtroom about her giving him an allowance and joint bank accounts was ridiculous. I say that took his manhood away. This new fangled way of thinking these days is sad. <laughs> Women want to wear the pants and the dress. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now you tell me, how you going to do his job if he's doing hers too? So you think that all those times she was busting her ass, the only one doing all the working? He should have still been the only one deciding how the money was spent? Damn right I do! What? It didn't prove it back up. Men are good at math. You know, Sales report. 
kids. Yeah, he, he sure did. <laughs> Making less than $30,000 a year with his broke ass. Oh, guys are always getting the short end of the stick. I mean, this guy has a whole disability, and he still finds a way to get a job and bring money home. But no, it's not enough. It ain't ever fucking enough. No matter how much you give a bitch, she just always wants more. And more. And more. And more. Ah! Yeah, at least it was something which is more than I can see for his wife. What more could you want? That man was doing the best he could in New York? That's nothing! She was paying for everything! And yeah, he did a little something, but it wasn't enough. Why? Because he should have seen it and picked up the effort. I'm so sick of y'all celebrating his me. I know! Why? Are you so caught up on how much somebody makes? The game is. Is that what I'll be wasting for you? Yes. Tragic. What if you could just be with someone? Yeah. <laughs> and live free. 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 For no bill. Huh? No judgment. No society. I mean, that is real happiness, man. Yeah, people. Would be a lot happier without the rat race, bro. Money, money. It's just to acquire more stuff. Less. Less is more. Hey, no, 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 man. Hey, I'm gonna pay somebody else for that. All I was trying to say is that she wasn't the only one bringing money into the home. Even if you think that he should have oh, done should have. more, even if you think that he should have done more, you cannot deny that he wasn't making an effort. And I'm sorry, y'all. Maybe you all have lived charmed lives. That's cool. I have not. But to me, it's the effort that can make or break a relationship. See? Yeah, you right, man. You might have something there. Yeah. I, I forgot about the online sales tag. See, maybe you was trying more than we thought. That's on him. I think we also need to keep in mind that he said that he didn't want a divorce. <laughs> This was a man that was trying to hold on to all he had. And I am so sorry about this because I'm not going to apologize. That speaks volumes to me. Okay, since when have chicks ever cared what men want? Hold on, okay. I can't see your point. The guy clearly wasn't ready to give up yet. That's true. So she's supposed to sacrifice her happiness and well being because that's not what he wanted. <laughs> Christian. Look, I, I believe in that fairy tale stuff. 
just like every other little girl that that crocker crack in some book. I wanted it. I waited for it. I thought it was real, just like her. Then reality set in that no man was ever going to fulfill me. I had to do that for myself. Guess what? My husband didn't want an independent woman, an independent thinker, someone who could possibly be smarter than him. No, he wanted me weak and needy. <laughs> like I was when we first got married. Nope. <laughs> I remind myself of that. Oh, did you like this, please? This is 
said she was angry all the time. Yeah, it's cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just have to say it. It's you might. Yeah, that's Black women are always angry. Oh. What does it mean? <laughs> well, I happen to know a lot of black women who are very loud and angry. It's like they have an attitude in some kind of sport. Every single time I'm hearing the movie I've ever seen, first of black women is single, or single mothers, and he's like, hey, hey, guy. Now she's mad at the world and lashing out every chance she gets. Lashing out at her friends. Her family, her children, her co-workers. Oh, no. Tuesday, and we're all supposed to just put up with it. Y'all see this? And then she wonders why black men are so okay. Different choice. I think Tyler Perry has a pretty accurate depiction, at least from what I see. Oh, cute. <laughs> what you not gonna do? You not gonna sit there and reduce black women to the inaccurate depictions of black women? Tyler Perry? <laughs> Let's just get together and work it out. Yeah. 
This barrack says to me, Bon voyage, bro! Bon voyage, back heels. That's a That's a Right here. I'm just asking y'all. Are there things that they could have worked on? Are things that they still could work on? He said that when he was working, that she didn't have to work if she didn't want to. He said she could go back to school, she could start her own business, and he would be there to support her. Mm -hmm, he sure did. But none of that happened, did it? Surprise! Surprise. Because he hurt his back and he was no longer able to work. If that never happened, maybe this case would never exist. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. We can sit here and we can do this all day long. But none of that happened, did it? And at this point, we are simply making excuses to keep him together. <sighs> Got a lot of issues you can work on, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you do. Because <laughs> ain't no mad person. <laughs> you should seem to act like yours was. <laughs> I never said that, but I came from a time where women knew how to treat a man. They took pride in being a wife. See, their guys mixed up with them. <laughs> now, I understand. Yeah, you got things to make change. Sure. Nah. But there are just some things that are not up for the thing. See, it's like nowadays, they want you to apologize for being traditional. Well, let me tell you something. I ain't gonna do it. I like the way I saw my mama and daddy do it. The same way I did. It. Mm. I bet you came from a time where men knew how to treat women too. Or at least pretended to. I bet you, uh, Dated her, did he? Yeah. And I bet you opened doors for her too, did he? Yeah. And I bet you saw her to her house right up to the door at the end of the day too, did he? Yeah, yeah. I bet you, Corey, you look like the type of Corey too. Oh, I sure I did. Corey. Yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 And uh, holding hands was a big deal for you, wasn't it? <laughs> I bet you like to take off your hat when you came in. That was respectful for you, wasn't it? Yeah, take your hat off right on off. Oh, he's coming. And, and you never cussed in her presence. Nah, we don't do that. We don't do that. And, and, and you respected her as best as you could. I did. I know you did. Exactly. And we ain't dealing with that caliber of men now, guys. You mean you are choosing that caliber of men? You go on No, that's not what I said. When she met him, he was employed, owned his own home, he had no kids. That sounds like a lot of what women want in a man these days. Do you think he was the only one? No. What I meant to say was those type of men are rare. In your opinion, which cannot speak for everyone, I could show you a hundred of my fraternity brothers who are exactly those types of men. Brothers making a difference in the world and in the lives of their families. Maybe they didn't all start off that way, but they had the potential that somebody recognized in them. Most importantly, potential that they recognized in themselves. Sometimes, y'all, we got to remember what attracted us to someone. Was it when? sitting around them and you feel like you can do absolutely anything. Or when you envision your future, damn it, they in it. If he 
was all of those things. Why isn't it a reasonable assumption that he could be all those things again? And sister, help me out on this one. What about her? What attracted him to her? Now you see, I can tell you that. Now it's probably because she had a family. Oh, 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 and you know what I say? Who cares what you saw in her? She's the problem. I was joking, lady. <laughs> no, 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 he, he said that, that she was his, uh, what was it? Oh, oh, his Captain Maul, which is a great looking woman. Did you know Captain Maul was a woman? Hell yeah, she was a badass woman. I'm thinking under that man, Tom. Okay, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. We are not completely <laughs> off track here. He said, and I quote, I have never met a woman with so many talents and with so much drive. And then she turned into a miserable, complaining shrew. Those are your words, not his. Exactly. Respectfully, let's stick to what we know. Well, he might as well have said it. When he was asked if she was going to be hired in the next few years, he said no. I thought he said something to me, but she was going to be hired for her to say. I don't remember being asked for her. Uh, nothing, nowhere in my uh, uh, I must have heard some things like that. Regardless, the testimony clearly stated that she probably had a present to be around, and I think ultimately, I'll have a little more money to spend with In order for the couple to get a divorce, the attorneys have to prove there is no way this marriage can be saved. I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't think that they proved it. I think that out. All right, let me tell you what. She's just some chick that'll never be happy with what she has. Always looking for greener pastures. You know what I say? I say, let her go dig it for gold somewhere else. Because, you know, my mom left me and my dad, and we were all the better for it. I mean, look how I turned out. <laughs> Me. That's fair. So what elements would have to be there in order to convince you that divorce is a big answer? Well, I for one would have to see that she was doing a trap. I don't see that happening from other things, you know, I don't just don't try. What do you mean she wasn't willing to try? She took care of that man for six years. What woman you know gonna take care of a man for six years that she doesn't love? Me? She absolutely was trying. All he had to do was get up every morning and she pretty much took care of everything else. How is that not trying? Maybe she did that out of some sort of you know, sense of obligation, but not love. Real love wasn't a lot she did. I mean, never. I ain't exactly see no love on her face on the witness stand. I'm just saying. <laughs> no love then. Sometimes love is in the actions. Ooh. Actions. According to the sworn testimony, she got up at 6 a.m. every morning to go to work, paid all the bills, drove him back and forth to all his doctor's appointments, cooked and cleaned, and she did all that without any of her needs being met. She did whatever his highness wanted her to do. That says love. I really don't care what you, you or you got to say about it. I am so sick of your know-it-all bullshit. Really, it's getting old. Love is in the actions. Y'all have tried to show my husband every single day for the last five years, and I want nothing more than, than to love him and to be the wife to him. That doesn't make him love me more. I'm sure that he appreciated everything she did for him. But that doesn't mean she made him feel loved by doing it. What if? Just what if? She made him feel like a burden. He did. 
inside intel that the rest of us don't have. Uh, something's real foul over here. Okay, come on. How could she know him? We were all chosen at random. Okay, so this is what you chicks always do. Instead of attacking the real problem, you just start jumping at each other's throats. I mean, hey. I like a good chick fight as much as anybody else, and if you two want to join me outside after this is done, we can do this the right way. Set <laughs> no ass down! Stop talking to you! Something ain't right about it, I promise. Watch what I tell you. Seriously, let's stop attacking each other. That's fine. We have a decision to make, and accusing each other of impropriety isn't solving anything. That's fine, baby. That's fine. All right. Now, has anybody's mind been changed, even a little, by the arguments made so far? You said we have to vote for divorce. If there is no change, this marriage can be saved, right? Right. Well, what kind of ways can they save? Polyamory! Then everybody's happy, bro. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is one answer. We could also recommend counseling by a trained professional. It could mean individual counseling, or it could mean divorce. There you go again. Young lady, I wasn't talking to you. Exactly. I just don't know why you're still going on with all this. When everything is so obvious, just like you said earlier. I don't put my name in One. Because everyone has not reached the same level of clarity that you obviously have. And two, I was asked a question and I would like to answer. Now, there are a number of ways this couple could find their way back to one another. But they would both have to be willing to try in their conscience. So, what is your problem? I don't have a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. <laughs> you are acting a little weird there, kid. I mean, you ain't exactly the same chick that walked in here with us. Sure ain't. Your whole demeanor done changed. Where you put that little airhead you came in with? It? I had about enough of your mouth. Oh, yeah? Well, what you gonna do without it? Come on, bring it! I take Mommy Kwando! <laughs> Both of you, stop! No, she takes Mommy Kwando! That is enough! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I wanna know, why this whole thing touched you so much? Huh? If your husband ain't black, why this whole thing got you all shook it up? Huh? Why you gotta be the Florence Nightingale for the black man? Huh? Huh? Shut up! Oh, no, 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 no! You got you a lover or something? Huh? You done had you some little mandingo or something? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Is that what it is? Now you feel like you gotta be the champion for the black heart? Huh? Protect his precious little heart? Is that what it is? Huh? Why you all frustrated? Crazy is better than that bitch he's married to. Bam! Whoa, dog, no, we ain't referred to anybody by first name the entire time we've been in here. Hell, I don't even think they referred to him as Randy in court. Did you know I met Mr. Robinson? No, that bitch you said what you said of her. Oh, she said it. Yeah. She said it. Do you know the husband in this case? I never said that. You, you like never denied it either. <laughs> no, now hold on, hold on. This is serious. Do you or don't you know Mr. Robinson? Oh, she knows him all. Right, just look at him. You guilty? Oh, you guilty? You had the day is long. <laughs> I am guilty. I am guilty. Of nothing more than being smitten with someone. I, I love my husband. But sometimes, sometimes he took me for granted. <laughs> I never planned on meeting anyone, but when my husband said I could get a job, I, I decided I wanted something online. 
so that I could work from home and, and be with the kids, have dinner made for him. And Randy. <sighs> Was that a happy accident? He was one of the regular report handlers at that company, so he spoke Dayton. He was so sweet and and kind and <laughs> attentive. And his diet was with me. All the things Howie forgot to be those times. <sighs> After a while, I found myself thinking about him. All the time. We started to speak on our personal phones, and that's when a beautiful world opened for me, for us. <sighs> we talked about everything. He told me all about his ungrateful, evil wife, and I thought to myself, how could someone be so nasty and selfish? How could someone choose to leave someone so amazing? <laughs> and then, and then, I received the jury notice. And just by luck, the trial was not Randy's trial? Good 
born again <laughs> with my brand. <laughs> We all will be judged for how we run sooner or later. It was never about money for me. You better back up, Annabelle. <laughs> I am not a Oh, <laughs> 